Okay, so this is let me do it here. So this is a line integral, yeah. But keep trying there, Ben. So you see if you have the same answer. Yeah. So the, the way we we can parameterize the curve to figure out what the line integral of i. And what I mean by that is, uh, if I just call x t, uh, then on curve c, y would just equal t squared. And if I were to take the derivative here, dx is equal to dt, and dy is equal to 2t dt. And if I called xt, and x is in between 0 and 2, that just means what t has to be between 0 and 2. And now I can plug back up in the integral, so I will get y squared is just t squared squared times dx, which is dt, minus 2 times x squared, so the place x with t, t squared, and dy is just 2t dt. And t is going from 0 to 2 in both cases, and I can split this integral up into two separate integrals. So this is a straightforward integral, so t4 over 4 from 0 to 2 minus 4. This will get me t cubed. So this becomes t4 over 4 from 0 to 2 as well. And since they both go from 0 to 2, I can make this whole thing go from 0 to 2. And then if I plug it in, I would get upper bound first, 16 over 4 minus 16 and 0 would make the first one 0 and the second one 0. So we would get, uh, oh, oops, wait, I uh, made a mistake here. This is t4 becomes t5 over 5 because this will, this here will become t4 and this here will become t cubed. And so this is 32 over 4 minus 16. Uh, and 0 making 0. So common denominator, 4. So this will be 32 minus 64 over 4. Which will be minus 32 over 4. Which will be minus 8. So the answer for this evaluating this line integral is minus 8.